At their base close to Camberley, members of the Royal Engineers are putting in hours of training as they prepare to tackle one of the oldest ultra-endurance races in the world. These military men are set to compete in the Devizes to Westminster, a canoe race so gruelling it's often referred to as the Mount Everest of canoe races. The event was conceived at the end of the 1940s and is steeped in military history, attracting large numbers of forces paddlers across the decades. Such are the demands of the event that traditionally takes place over the Easter weekend. It led one former Royal Marine, a pre-politics Lord Paddy Ashdown, to say on completion, it was crippling. We took 25 hours to finish the course and I can only think of one person in history who has spent a worse Easter. Oh, pushing off. At 125 miles long and with 77 locks and weirs, or portages as they are known, the race will present plenty of obstacles along the way. Setting out from Devizes, the first 52 miles are along the Kennet and Avon Canal. From Reading, it switches to the River Thames, and 55 miles later at Teddington, paddlers must contend with the tide for the remaining 17 miles of their journey on the Thames to Westminster. The journey is non-stop, so if the crews aren't paddling, they'll be running with their canoes and kayaks from one portage to the next, including in the dark of night. At the same time, they'll be trying to refuel. Chris Lay will be taking part in his fourth devises to Westminster. As one of the experienced members of the Royal Engineer Entrance, he's been coaching his fellow sappers, but he's also set his own target for the race. Ideally, I want to get under 20 hours. Uh, as I've, Every time I've done it, I've got close to 21 hours, just, just missing out the last time I did it. Yeah. And all of that, I mean, it, it's not just paddling, is it? There's, there are times when you're actually out of the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, at one point, uh, there's about eight locks that are really close together and you've got to run about a mile and a half in one, in one go because it's actually quicker to run it than it is to get in and out of the boat all the time. Yeah. So these little drills that you've been doing to, today, they really help? Oh, definitely, yeah. It, it rehearses and reinforces the, uh, the drills that you need to get in and out of the boat really quickly and uh, keep that efficiency and get that speed down towards Westminster here. Yeah. Support crews play a massive role in helping those on the water to success or even just to complete the race. If you haven't got a good support crew, you're not going to complete that race in the best time that you can. Yeah, support crew's got a big part to play on it. So, so when it comes to you military types, you know, you've probably got a slight advantage when it comes to that. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, with the organisation and, and the backing that we have, yeah, we, we have a huge team supporting us. Yeah. And is there one thing, one piece of advice that you would give anybody that's taking it on for the first time? Uh, train, yeah. Get in a boat as much as you can, as much as possible, and uh, get used to being in the boat. Yeah, all, all weathers. Don't just be a, a fair weather, weather paddler. Yeah. One of those taking the event on for the first time is Liam Vickers. The young sapper is determined to finish and in a time that he can be proud of. Ideally, I want to do it in under 24 hours to do it competitively, but obviously the main ambition is just to complete it because that's something to be proud of in itself. But if I get under 24 hours, I'll be very happy with that. Yeah, of the, of the crews that have started in the past, an awful lot of them fall by the wayside. So what sort of determination are you drawing on to get yourself through this? Um, I just try to think, get to each port edge, you know, because each port edge is sort of like an each, each step at a time, because as soon as you get to Newbury, you think, get to Reading, then from Reading, you know, you're pretty much down the Thames to Reading, so sorry, to London. When you have the flow, that tends to push you a little bit, it's something to look forward to. 200 kayaks and canoes will set out from Devizes and race to Westminster, with the quickest boats hoping to finish early in the morning on Easter Sunday. Julian Evans, Forces News, Camberley.